a common challenge we face when we become vegan is that people around us may not like it. And there are multiple reasons for it. And um, I'm, this video is just about some real advice on how to deal with that. One thing there is to it is that you need to see that some people might not like your choice because it confronts them with their own responsibility to make choices that are better for the planet and the well-being of animals and the health of your own body. I can attest <laughs> this personally because when I was vegetarian and I met for the first time a vegan, the only thing I thought was, whoa, that's so extreme. <laughs> and honestly, I, I already noticed that actually this was just me reacting in a way to say to myself, okay, it's okay to not be vegan. Well, actually, I already knew that it was a better choice for my life. So you are triggering people with your own choices in life. You, you just confront them with the possibility of them choosing something better for themselves, the planet and animals. So that having said, it might be easier now to not care too much that people around you react negatively. Because you can, you can think for yourself, oh well, I just, you know, confront them with another choice they can make as well. And they feel not ready to make that choice apparently. And that's okay. And it's not personal. You don't have to take it personal. You're not um, like a worse friend because you've become vegan. Um, there's nothing wrong with you. You don't have to take it personally. You don't have to care. Another thing you might be happy to have as a new kind of thought in your mind is that actually you are the person inspiring others. So although a first reaction might be negative and a second and third as well and so forth, but in the end, you're at least inspiring to people because you show that it's possible to make consciously other choices in life than most people do. It's possible to make choices that are aligned with your heart, that are aligned with your health and health of the planet and the well-being of the animals. So you're showing others that it's so possible to make inspired choices instead of just going with mainstream or going with what's in a comfort zone. So you are doing a great job and a great service to humanity, even if you're triggering people. Triggering people is something good, not something bad. <laughs> If it's specifically people living in your own house with you uh, who are opposed to you being vegan, probably because it poses problems in the organization of having the meals together, know that these kind of things are perfectly solvable. You can definitely cook in ways that there is a vegan option and a non-vegan option. It just needs some uh, some creativity and maybe it needs you to take a bit of a lead in the beginning because especially if you're in a household where um, someone else is um, independently of you cooking meals for you as well then they might just think that they don't know how to do it so if you can give an example maybe you can um, propose that you will cook for a whole week and you make a vegan option and a non-vegan option so that everyone can eat together. So you can show people that it's perfectly possible. Another thing is health. Some people in your environment might get really worried about you. So 
maybe you want to have some extra arguments ready if you watch some documentaries for example about veganism and health you might find that it's easier to convince people that veganism can be a completely healthy lifestyle and might even be healthier than a non-vegan lifestyle personally i had this little challenge when i wanted to become vegetarian i was about 10 years old 14 years old so i lived with my parents and they thought it was not healthy and so they had me eat meat once a week for the first four years and then I decided I really want to become vegetarian and I just printed all these articles I found on the internet about how vegetarianism is healthy and I <laughs> I put them all over the house as a little bit of a vegetarian promotion thing and then they said okay you can be vegetarian so you might want to do something similar you know um, you can definitely uh, soothe people around you a bit by letting them know that yes it can be healthy and it is healthy and if you don't succeed in that because maybe they have really fixed ideas about it you know then still it's your choice I've been talking about this topic with some health experts I met during the last year and and they concluded, and it's in alignment with my logic as well, that if you would, for example, get a certain deficiency, then you will notice, your body will give you signals. You will develop new diseases or whatever kind of symptoms that will let you know that something is missing in your diet. It's not like veganism can somehow trigger a certain disease suddenly and you will not be able to ever heal it. No, it will be a more gradual... Um, if, if you do have deficiencies in your diet, your body will tell you and you will have time to adjust. So even if you don't manage to have a healthy vegan diet, and I have to say deficiencies happen in almost any diet anyway, um, you know, you'll be able to adjust it. So, no worries. And if people are really worried and still upset about you being vegan for whatever other reason, just stand firm in your own choice. Because if your heart is telling you that this is the best way for you, then listen to your own heart. Because this is your life and you can make your own choices. I wish you good luck on your journey. If you have anything anything to discuss, let me know in the comments below. I usually like to reply. <laughs> yeah, so if you have any questions or a certain topic you would like me to make a video on, let me know. Yeah, I wish you good luck on your journey. Namaste.